Hey, if you have heard about the new Raspberry Pi Pico 2, then this video is for you. Here are 10 things you must know about this new board before buying. 1. Meet the new RP2350 microcontroller. First up, the heart of the Pico 2 is the new dual-core, dual-architecture RP2350 microcontroller. Yep, you heard it right, there are two different architectures. You have the option to choose either the ARM Cortex M33 cores or the RISC-V cores, which we will talk about later in the video. This chip takes everything that was great about the RP2040 in the original Pico and ramps it up. We're talking about a faster clock frequency of 150 MHz up from 133 MHz in the original. Plus, it doubles the SRAM from 264 KB to 520 KB and increases the flash memory from 2 MB to 4 MB. That's a significant boost in performance and memory capacity. 2. Same form factor, but extra features. The Pico 2 maintains the same form factor and software ecosystem as the original Pico, which means it's fully compatible with existing projects. There are still 26 GPIO pins, and it increases the number of PWM channels from 16 to 24. These additions make the Pico 2 even more versatile for various applications. 3. More PIO The Pico 2 enhances its programmable I.O. or PIO capabilities. For those new to the concept, a feature that lets you create custom hardware interfaces using the GPIO pins on the board. Yes, the Pico supports SPI and I2C communication protocols, but what happens when you want to use unsupported tech or multiple SPI devices? That's where programmable I.O. or PIO comes in. It is a flexible system that allows you to design your own communication protocols, such as custom serial interfaces or timing-specific tasks, without needing dedicated hardware. The original Pico featured two PIO blocks, which provided access to eight state machines. The Pico 2 adds a third PIO block, giving you a total of 12 state machines. 4. Sticking to the same old micro USB. One of the biggest disappointments for some might be that the Pico 2 still uses a micro USB connector instead of the more modern USB C. While this keeps compatibility with existing peripherals and enclosures, many were hoping for an upgrade to USB-C, which has become the new standard. Before jumping to the next point, let's discuss an exciting opportunity for you if you are a student. If you're aiming to jumpstart your career in PCB design, then Altium is here to help you with their Altium Student Lab. Simply visit the Altium Student Lab through the link in the description, provide the necessary details, and you'll gain free access to Altium's cutting-edge design software and online courses. These PCB courses will guide you through the basics of PCB design and ECAD fundamentals, helping you build technical expertise. Plus, the course completion certificate can open up valuable career opportunities in the future. Overall, it's a great opportunity to not only master a key skill, but also to enhance your career prospects in electronics design. 5. Decoding RP2350 So, what does RP2350 mean? The RP stands for Raspberry Pi. The first two digits give us a hint about the processor. Digit 2 represents the two cores. 3 indicates the type of core, ARM Cortex M33 core. Next, the digit 5 represents the volatile memory calculated using this formula, which gives us the number 5 by inserting the RAM value 520 kilobytes. Finally, the last digit indicates the internal flash memory, which is not available in this microcontroller, hence 0. But worry not, the Pico has an onboard flash memory of 4 megabytes external to the microcontroller. 6. RISC 5 cores. The Pico 2 comes with two Hazard 3 RISC 5 cores in addition to the two ARM Cortex M33 cores. But what is RISC 5 and how can it benefit makers like us? Imagine you're building a house. You could use a pre designed kit from a specific company like ARM, or you could design your own from scratch. Hence, RISC 5 is like the blueprint for designing your own house. So, RISC-V is an Open Source Instruction Set Architecture, or ISA. Think of it as the basic rules and instructions that a computer can follow. Unlike other ISAs that are proprietary and controlled by specific companies like ARM, RISC-V is freely available for anyone to use. This means anyone can design, manufacture, and use RISC-V processors without paying licensing fees. 
So, Risk V allows you to be more creative and independent in your hardware projects. 7. Power Consumption Despite the increased performance, the Pico 2 is more power efficient. It reduces idle power consumption from 100 milliwatts in the original Pico to 80 milliwatts. This improvement means longer battery life for portable projects. And while deep sleep power consumption has improved, it still has some room for enhancement. 8. Enhanced Security Features Security is a big focus with the Pico 2. It includes ARM Trust Zone for secure code and data, SHA 256 acceleration, and 8 kilobytes of one time programmable or OTP storage, a hardware true random number generator or TRNG, and fast glitch detectors. So, whether you're working on a personal project or something more professional, you can integrate the Pico 2 with confidence, knowing your data is secure. 9. No reset button. Like the original Pico, there's no reset button on the Pico 2. Yes, there's an onboard button called Boot Select, but it's for programming purposes. So, if you need to reset the board, you'll still have to unplug and reconnect the power. It's a minor inconvenience, but something to keep in mind. 10. Is the Pico 2 worth the price? Price wise, the Pico 2 is only about $1 more than the original Pico, around $5. Considering the significant upgrades, it's still incredibly affordable and offers great value for money. After considering all these points, we believe that it's better to buy a Pi Pico 2 instead of the original Pico, if you are confused between the two. But what are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments. Subscribe for more such informative videos. See you soon. Goodbye.